So I'm always getting asked questions, how to tire out your dog and stay. And as you guys know, I am a huge, huge, huge proponent of the mental stimulation aspect. And I'm always a firm believer that that will go well above and beyond just physical exercise tiring out your dog. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to give the new X-Dog version three weighted vest a review, share it with you guys. You guys have seen me many a times with the first version with his weight vest of the X-Dog weighted vest. As you guys know, I was not a fan of it. $100, it was built cheap, cheap straps, cheap buckles. He liked it, but I saw they did a bunch of upgrades in version three. I figured I'd give it a shot. I purchased it with my own money. There's a lot of bugs out here, guys. So I'm going to show you how I use it with Bruce Wayne to tire him out. I'm going to give a quick rundown of this and give it my thoughts, honest opinions. Again, not sponsored. So let's do this, Bruce Stay. So. I already have it loaded up with weight inside. I'm going to strap him together. Now, already, massive improvement of the first one is we have these metal buckles. The other one is just cheap plastic, which could easily break and snap. But these are very heavy duty. Now, Bruce Wayne's wearing the max size weighted vest, the version three. I believe it's an extra, extra large. If not, it's an extra large. It's the biggest side. This is maxed out. If Bruce Wayne's chest was bigger, it would not fit. This basically is, I may be able to get like a little bit more, but not much. If your dog's bigger than Bruce Wayne, you're gonna have a very hard time getting it to fit proper. These metal buckles are so much better than the old crappy plastic ones. I feel like these will hold up. This vest was $170, which is $70 more than my first version. Basically, we have a couple things going on here. We have Bruce Wayne's weighted vest, and it's not extremely heavy. The sandbag's filled. Total weight I just weighed it out was 6.8 pounds. That's not very much. But if I'm taking Bruce Wayne on a two, three mile hike, or a walk, or a bike ride, that does add up and it does help his physical exercise. Some people get their dog a weighted vest just for the security of feeling wrapped up. It can um, help anxiety. Bruce doesn't suffer from anxiety. I mean, obviously his dog, he'll get anxious sometimes in certain situations. The weighted vest in itself can almost work like a weighted blanket. I've seen a lot of dogs just wear this around the house, some type of weighted vest, not necessarily this one, and it has helped them a ton. And I actually got to fix the straps a little bit. They're a little bit, you know, slide, slided down, slid down. But so let's move around a little bit, do a few drills with him. Having the vest on is just going to help tire him out a little bit. Let's go, buddy. Come on, I know the bugs are bad. So I'm gonna move Bruce Wayne into the driveway. Hopefully the bugs are a little bit not as nasty. Bruce Wayne, stay. Good boy. See, I'm pretty far away from him right now. Bruce Wayne, sit. He's like, how do I sit with this vest on? Good boy. I actually like how this vest looks. It looks pretty sick, especially in Bruce Wayne. I like the, the solid black, right? You guys like that? These do come off. Stay. Those do come off if you wanna put like a service patch or anything like that on. There's two of them. True Beast, Team X Dog, they both come off. There's an attachment right here where you can add a parachute. So you got the one strap here. Again, it's metal, it's very durable. You got three straps here. Again, metal. We got Bruce Wayne the Stay Command right now. Just that alone is working on his mental, so he's gotta focus. So I'm actually getting a toy for Bruce and kind of like test his stay. Bruce Wayne loves this ball. Good stay. This is hard to do one-handed. Go get it. Bring it over here. Let's go. Drop. Drop. Good boy. All right, come here. 
You want this ball? Come here, let's go. Right here. Ready? Go get it. I don't know if you guys caught that, but Bruce Wayne caught it. Now he's smelling something. <laughs> Good catch, bro. Come here. Let's go. Drop it. Let's go. Good boy. I have yet to use this parachute, but I'm gonna use it right now. So daily drills are going to keep your dog calm and well-mannered in the house. We all want a well-mannered, calm dog when they're in the house. I'm just going to attach this to his weight vest. Let's see how the parachute works with his weighted vest. Bruce Wayne, let's go, let's go, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. There we go. Good boy, that was weak, bro. Make this a little more exciting for him. Come here, let's go, you want that? Get it, get it, Bruce, get it, come on, get it, get it, drop, stay. So I got his flirt pole now. See if I can get a little more pep in this step. Bruce Wayne, get it, go, 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 go. There we go, there we go, boom. Good, come here, let's go. Good boy. Good boy, that's a good boy. Yeah, pull on it, pull on it, pull on it. All right, then let him have it. Yeah, Bruce stay, Bruce drop. Good boy. I'm gonna reset and do this one more time. This would be way easier if I had somebody else filming. So my apologies if I don't show you guys the best footage here. So I have a fairly steep incline Bruce Wayne's also running up here. Let's go. Yeah, you like this, huh? So these parachutes, this is basically my second time using one. Um, I had one from X Dog, and then the first sprint he did, like you just saw, it literally just ripped. Then it took them about six weeks to send me a replacement, which is not cool. Bruce, stay. So from a customer service standpoint, Bruce, stay. I was very upset with how long it took. And then the new one I got, it was horrible outside. It was dead of winter. And I just haven't used it yet. See, there's grout up Bruce because I had him on steak him in. He was inching up to me because there's toys up here. So... I love using a growl as a correction because he totally understands what it means. Good stay. So I'm going to hold this up again out of my way so I don't get taken out by the dog. This is actually how Bruce Wayne fractured Kara's shoulder. Actually, I should do a video on that. I've done it before, but I should do it with Kara. Bruce Wayne, get it. Let's go. Come on. Go, 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 go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. So you guys may be wondering, well, yeah, that's fine and dandy to tire your dog outside, Jason. You know, you can have them doing drills with the vest on. You have the added resistance of the weight vest. And then you have the mental stimulation of them following command. But that's fine and dandy, but what about if you have to have your dog calm in the house or if they have separation anxiety? If they have separation anxiety, you can literally put this vest on them and leave the house. You don't even have to have the, the weights in it if you don't want just having that wrapped around their body can calm some anxiety in them. Now this is only six pounds, it doesn't weigh much, he's 155 pounds, so it's not that heavy for him, but it does add that extra layer of exercise. So if I'm going in a two, three mile walk on him, he is going to get more physical exercise out of that. Now, don't worry, don't worry, I am going to get in a review of the actual vest itself. I just wanna give you guys some pointers. So Bruce Wayne's in the state command right now. So what happens if it's too hot to go outside and exercise your dog? Or what happens if it's too cold to go exercise your dog? Or it's snowing, right bro? Bro loves the snow, so that ain't a problem. Put the vest on him in the house. There's no rules. Bruce Wayne, stay. Bruce Wayne, let's go. Bruce Wayne, sit. Sorry for how dark it is over here, guys. Good, stay. Just drill your dog around the house, guys. Big Barker, link in the description. Bruce Wayne, let's go. Right over here. 
Lay down up here on the bed. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. Drills around the house can go so far. A lot of the times when Kara gets home at night, she will literally come in the door, ignore Bruce for a few minutes till he settles down in his spot, which is usually on the carpet right behind the couch. And then when he calms down, she'll pay attention to him. A lot of the times what she'll do is she will literally drill him around the house. She'll have him sit, stay, follow like this. Bruce Wayne, let's go. She'll have him on a heel command off leash. Turn you guys up. Bruce, heel. Good heel, buddy. That's perfect. I stop, he stops. And because he's already in a heel command, I don't, have to, I don't have to tell him to heel again. Now, it's not a perfect heel. There's obviously it's very tight quarters in here. But watch, when I stop, he should stop. All right, go, he should go. Good boy, Bruce, okay. Work on your commands around the house. Throw on the weighted vest. It's going to add that extra level of satisfaction to them. And it's all about satisfying them, guys. It's about satisfying their mentals. That's what's going to ultimately tire them out. Bruce Wayne, sit. Good boy. Give me nuts, bro. Thanks. Stay. That's a good stay. So, those are just some quick tips to tire your dog out mentally, bring down their energy. Another thing with working obedience, I don't do it with Bruce because he's so well trained, but as a puppy, I wouldn't be drilling him around outside until I first just let him blow off some steam, chase some things, run around a little bit. Especially younger do dogs, guys, and certain breeds, they are so high energy. You literally just need to let them run around, blow off steam so they can easily pay attention to you. Let's say you've been working for eight hours and you just get home. You have a young dog, your dog's crated. It's going to be a ball of energy. Don't just start with drilling them. Let them run around, wrestle around with them. Get some of that actual physical energy out first. Once you have some of that physical energy out, then you can start commanding your dog around. Like I said, I don't do that with Bruce Wayne. That's just because he's four, he's fully trained, he's very obedient. Good boy, Bruce Wayne. So those are just some quick tips. Now I just wanna go into this X-Dog vest and actually let me grab the old one, Bruce stay. Now you guys can see that Bruce Wayne is pooped out. I haven't even done much with him, right? What you saw outside is all I've done with him today. He didn't really get tired out until I put the vest on him and put him to work. Key word, work. This is a working breed. And you can work your dog many different ways. You can have them hunt, you can have them track, you can have them do obedience, you can have them do agility, you can have them wear a weighted vest. Giving this to Bruce Wayne, putting this six, seven pound vest on his back, tricks his brain into thinking that he is doing a job, he is accomplishing something, he is accomplishing a task. I know I personally feel best when I accomplish things. If I just sit around all day and don't do anything, I'm a mental mess. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like a loser. I feel like I need to be out accomplishing things, which actually is very hard for me because with my disease I have, I have to rest a lot. So that's been like a huge mental struggle for me, which has been very hard for me to get out videos. I'm being very candid with you guys right now. Um, it's been depressing having to lay on the couch and not do anything certain days. I, my brain is just, a worker, I need to work, and I always have to feel like, and I always wanna be accomplishing something. So it's the same for the, your dog. Your dog doesn't wanna sit around all day feeling like a loser. Give your dog a job. It doesn't matter if you have a Connie Corso or a Shih Tzu. Whatever breed you have, understand the traits in that breed. If you have a lab, labs like to hunt, labs like to retrieve. Work with them on those things. Work with them with what's built in their instincts. That will go so far in a happy puppy. Now, when you have a tired dog, you're also going to have a very well-mannered dog in the house. A dog that is not going to want to get into things, a dog that is going to be very satisfied, a dog that just wants to fall asleep while you talk to him. Bro, you can go to sleep, it's okay. 
And for all the people that ask, no, Bruce does not have cherry eye. But when Bruce sits on the ground, his skin gets all loose because his meat flaps are down here. And then when he looks up, in a way, you can just see the reds in his eyes. You don't see it when he's standing and his face is all squished down. Here's the old one, guys. Okay, this is what I was talking about. This was $100 and I was so disappointed with this. It was so not worth $100. You have these cheap plastic buckles, right? And then you have this Velcro and the Velcro doesn't even stick. Like you strap it around your dog, you pull the loop up and then this Velcro is so weak, it doesn't stick. On the inside, it's plain Jane. So this is an extra large. Now, here's the new one. I mean, comparing the two, right? You don't have this crappy Velcro stuff right here. Instead of those cheap plastic buckles, you have these nice durable metal straps. How satisfying is that? When they lock in place, you just gotta squeeze these things right here to unlock it. So they're gonna stay in place. Ready for the satisfaction? Oh, so good. So this is also metal. The attachment to compare, the old attachment was also metal. It's got these added things, as I said. You can put on your own patches of whatever you want. The weights go in here. This is still one of my massive complaints. They send you sandbags, okay? I filled these with pebbles. You can fill them with sand, BBs, whatever you want. Slide right in there, boom. Now, what's my complaint with this, bro? You know my complaint. Instead of giving you these sandbags that you have to fill on your own, I wish they had accessories you could buy for this. I would find paying extra for that, like small metal plates. I would love like one pound and two pound metal plates. Two pounds would be perfect for him. That would give me 16 pounds. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. If they're all two pounds each, because there's eight spots for weights. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I like the nice detailing on here. I like their X-Dog logo. It doesn't stick out a ton like this. I wasn't a fan of the black and yellow. I like the more stealth look. It just looks sicker, right? Bro loves his vest. <laughs> I took Bruce Wayne on a bike ride yesterday wearing this vest, about a mile and a half or so. He did great with it. The inside, this is a lot different as well. Version one was as big as it came and it was an extra large. Version two, is an XXL. So that's the size of Bruce Wayne's. He's 155 pounds. Once I put the weights in it, guys, it expands the vest, meaning these straps now have to be even longer. This vest is absolutely maxed out just about in length. This belly strap is not because he's lean, but his chest is so massive, as you can see, this is to the very, very end. If his chest was any bigger, it would not fit this dude. So X-Dog, if you're watching this, I don't know, maybe you can make your straps just slightly longer. Big dude just bench presses all day, every day, and he's got a massive chest. And actually guys, if you're wondering all of Bruce Wayne's stats and size and all that stuff, I do a video on it. I don't remember off the top of my head. I measured him up for you guys. I'll link that down below. Another amazing thing I love about this. Yes, love. I'm very happy with this. Before we get into the price, you guys might be going, Jason, this looks different than the inside of the other one, all right? Look at this, this plain Jane. Move this, what do we got? What are these for? These are for this. There is a cooling pack and a warming pack. It can work either way. You just slide these in here keep your dog cool or warm in the winter time. Now, X-Dog, what are you doing to me, bros? I get my X-Dog vest and there's two slots. I've only got one cooling pack. I'm like, that is so weird. Why would they put two spots and just give me one cooling pack? I emailed the company and they said that it is supposed to come with two. They told me they were going to send me another one. They did send me tracking. So I believe it'll be here in a couple days which is much faster than how long it took to get my replacement parachute. That took six weeks. I was so disappointed in X-Dog's customer service. I went and mailed back 
the original parachute that ripped the second he took off sprinting, sprint one, and it took them six weeks to get that back to me, a brand new one. Highly disappointed, massive fail on XDog's customer service part there. Just being honest with you guys, they were very quick to respond in this situation and they sent me the tracking and it says it'll be here Friday. So kudos to XDog for quickly um, fixing the situation with this. But again, I shouldn't even have to email the company because I didn't get all of the pieces I paid for. Now I have yet to use this, um, but I mean, Bruce Wayne's a hot dog. He runs hot, right bro? You're always running hot. So on a hot day, this is absolutely perfect for him. It gives you instructions. Obviously you don't want this in your dog's skin for too long. It says no more than 10 minutes at a time. You don't want to give them frostbite or burn them or anything like that. But I will be definitely utilizing this. Also the vest just seems to fit better. I'm not sure if it's the buckles. I'm actually going to, let's, let's put these on top of each other guys and see how they stack up with one another. Oh, that's why it fits so much better. That was another my, of my complaints, that the original didn't go down his back enough. And you can see there's like an extra inch right there. I'm quite pleased with this. I feel like this is going to hold up very well. And then on the inside, you have these two straps. Now, it's the same exact strap that I hooked the parachute to up on the back side. What you wanna use these for is if you are having your dog um, doing any weight pulling, sled pulling, or anything like that. I know X Dog does make, I believe, a sled with weights for your dog to pull. I was thinking about getting one, but I just haven't, I haven't wanted to spend the cash yet. So speaking of cash, this was $160, I believe, maybe $170. This was $100. Now, as you guys know, I hated the original version one vest. Bruce Wayne loved it. And the only reason I really hated it is because they charged me $100 for what I felt was a very poorly built vest. If the vest would have been $70, $60, I would have given it five out of five stars. But because it had such a high price point, it didn't fit right, the Velcro didn't hold, the buckles, they kept coming unbuckled because it's just this plastic crappy little buckle. I couldn't get on board with that. The new one, $170, $160, quite a bit more. Despite the huge difference in price, I feel with the upgrades in quality, with the buckles, adding in pockets inside for cooling or heating packs, making the vest a little bit longer, it holds to his body so much better. Gotta give it five out of five stars right now. I've only had it a few days. So that's my early initial thoughts. Obviously, it's going to be used weekly in my arsenal with Bruce Wayne. I'll be using the parachute more. I don't, that was actually the first time I've used that new parachute with him. I can also let you guys know how I feel about that, how the durability is. I believe those are $50. Eh, it's kind of it's kind of pricey for what it is in my book, but I'm not really gonna give a review on that yet. I haven't used it enough. I'm hoping the first parachute I had that ripped was just a fluke, a manufacturing defect where maybe the threading wasn't sewn on that well. And look at all that work we do with Bruce Wayne, right? Look how tired he is. Proof's in the pudding, guys. Proof is in the pudding. So X Dog, thank you so much for making a solid piece of equipment and redeeming yourself from version one in my eyes. I know a lot of people love the first version, not me. I can confidently recommend this to you guys. Again, I have no affiliation with XDog. I paid for all this stuff myself. So that's it for today. I have a tired dog. If you would need help training your dog, we have amazing options that for the small price of going through one of these courses, it's going to change your life. Nobody wants to live with a dog that's annoying. Nobody wants to live with a dog that's destructive and Nobody wants to live with a dog that's not happy. I promise you, you go through these courses, there's a puppy training course for all you new puppy owners. And even if you're not a new puppy owner, when's the last time you had a puppy, right? Refresh your brain, go through the course. I guarantee you're going to learn a lot. There's nothing wrong with continuing learning. Don't be the person that think you know everything. I've been a videographer, editor, graphic designer for 20 plus years, and I am still weekly watching tutorial videos, even like simple basic ones because I'm always learning something. Like I watched a very basic 
Premier, Adobe Premiere tutorial the other day. I'm like, I didn't know I could do that. And it literally saves me so much time in my edits. Same for dog training, guys. You can learn so much more of these courses, things that you may not be doing or even thought of. There's the canine bootcamp course, which I guarantee a lot of the people watching this channel probably need to go through. It'll teach you how to be the proper leader to your dog. Uses the same exact philosophies of what I did with Bruce Wayne training him. Why is he so shiny? He's not so shiny because of his shampoo. He's so shiny because of his raw diet. We even got you covered there. We have a raw diet masterclass teaching you how to feed your dog a raw diet. And then I also have my own ebook, Perfect Canine Companionship, The Non-Dog Trainer's Guide to Dog Training. Because I'm not a dog trainer. I've just had dogs my whole life. And I also love working with my dog in the daily. So Bruce Wayne's passed out. He's tired of listening to me talk. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna try doing two uploads a week from now on, just so you know. I'm aiming for Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesdays, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Saturdays around noon, but don't hold your boy to that. I'm gonna do my best. And the way out, make sure you do all the things. Subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, ring my ding so you miss any newest videos on Kanye Corsos or Bruce Wayne and get yourself some sick merch. Till next time guys, Bruce Wayne and myself, we'll see you later. Peace.